Clara from Spire Laser. Did you consume a lot of protective lenses? This week, we are going to continue the topic for protective lenses. Last week, we talked about two issues in the lens. The first one is the black spots that indicates that the lens has been burned through. You need to replace a new protective lens. The second is the wet spots, which represents an error happens in your cut or pierce parameter setting, and the protective lens need to be adjusted and replaced in time. The third issue is there is water or oil on the lower surface of the protective lens. It means that there is a problem with the auxiliary gas. You need to check the gas. If it's oxygen, you need to check the purity and the filter. If it's nitrogen or compressed air, you need to check whether the filter is clean and the air compressor has regular drainage. We'll briefly show you how to check the air compressor, which requires to do regularly. The compressor in the video may be different from yours. It's not an advertisement for the compressor. You need to properly coordinate our explanation with your compressor. The first we need to care is the filters. The air compressor in the video has four filters. You need to check the cleanness of each filter regularly. The exhaust pod should be opened in advance and closed after running for about 30 seconds. Every 4 hours, water should be discharged. The second and third filters are recommended to be discharged at the same time as the water discharge process. It's also necessary to make sure that the detection device on the first filter is operating normally. A bonus, we can imagine we use compressed air as auxiliary gas, and we found water and oil on the protective lens, but we don't know why. We can put a clean protective lens in the outlet of compressed air, please not too far away from the outlet. After about 5 seconds, we can determine whether the lens is abnormal due to the compressed air. The fourth issue in the protective lens is the occurrence of condensation. It may be related to the humidity of the air, but is usually caused by the large difference between the temperature of the water chiller and the room. It usually occurs in summer, that is, the temperature of the water chiller is low and the room's high. When the temperature difference between the water chiller and the room exceeds a reasonable range, problems may happen. Number one, there may be a laser warning showing laser failure or power failure, which makes the machine stop working directly. You need to check the laser source immediately. Number two, the machine may run normally but you may sadly find condensation appears on the shell of the laser source. Number three, condensation appears on the upper layer of the lower protective lens. If there's no other contaminant, the machine may work normally, but the dew may affect the laser output and cause the nozzle to heat up quickly. All tailors of the Faber laser cutting machine are configured with two rules for cooling water. One is for laser source, and another is for cutting head. Problem number one and number two will not happen at the same time, but problem number three may happen at the same time as one of number one and number two. Ice and A and Tong Fei water chillers are dual temperature and control, which means you can set different values separately for laser source and cutting head. If there is a single condensation phenomenon, please recite the temperature of the waterway correspondingly. Our suggestion is that the temperature difference between the water chiller and the room should be within 5 degrees. Are you looking for protective lenses? A video up here will help you to find the suitable models. I hope the video will be practical and useful for you. Do you have another issues on your laser machines? 
please write it down here in the comment below and we'll reply you soon. Thank you so much for joining me here today and please subscribe me here and we'll see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. Bye!